Japanese Gretches might be the coolest things we've ever seen. So Gretsch have been making guitars for god 50, 60 years, who knows. And these are the new Jets uh, straight out of the Japan factory, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we, it's, it's, we don't actually see that many Japanese Gretches come through these days, mainly because the bulk, I think, of their line now tends to be the streamliner stuff and the electromatic stuff. And of, of course, they have a fantastic Japanese custom shop, but also just some standard line bits at the Japanese factory are properly awesome. So these are the new uh, liner jets, and this is the G6 128 and 228. That's right, yeah. So the, uh, the, the differences are quite subtle, but also really cool between them. So one Bigsby, mm -hmm. one Hardtail, and they've actually gone for different Gretsch uh, logos. You've got the more the more common Gretsch logo on the on the one two eight, the Bigsby version. They've gone for this old school script logo on the uh, on the two two eight, which is super keeping... cool. Yeah, but keeping the other logo on the plate, which is which is a little strange. And then you get these pinch tuners, and then you get the ordinary traditional tuners on the other model. And obviously, as you can see, it's like cream binding and sort of gold surrounds uh, versus like white binding and these sort of silver. Uh, surrounds and plate on the 128. Oh, oh, hardtail every every day of the week. Yeah, but I, I really like the old the the like Gretsch sort of half circle um, inlays. I think they look really cool. And also these that's kind of way more quintessentially Gretsch. Yeah. yeah. The block in inlays I don't think of as being sort of a Gretsch thing so much. Although I do really love Gretsch block inlays because they're they're way bigger than Gibson block inlays. Like they almost take over the whole fret. Like. Um, it like sort of all those old 60s Japanese stuff are kind of a bit like uh, like Burns and companies like that just used to have all these massive Hofner Hofner had these huge block inlays and these are kind of in line with that spec wise we've got a mahogany mahogany we reckon they're, they're mahogany but they're chambered okay which is great because the jets were always weighed a ton like Les Pauls um, so what are they like well, I mean it's, it's light light yeah, lighter than you'd expect for, for a mahogany body but also it being chambered kind of makes it way more uh, applicable to sort of modern music, or at least more versatile, uh, super versatile um, because of that. And the pickups are different between them as well. They are indeed. We have uh, what, power drums in here. Yeah, so TV Jones um, power drums, which uh, which would be kind of a more traditional spec pickup um, for the uh, for the one two eight. But the the thing that's really fun is in the hardtail version in the two two eight, you've got um, Tim Shaw made Broadtron pickups, which is really cool because Tim Shaw, the of course, needs. yeah, it's the bee's knees for pickups. Um, Tim Shaw used to work for Gibson. He moved, he came across the Fender, and back when Fender were making the American Standard, they did a range of like humbucker equipped uh, standard line American guitars that all of a sudden had Tim Shaw humbuckers, and everyone was like, oh, these are, these are great. And then, of course, when they introduced the Professional Series. He designed the, all the pickups for the American Pros, the V-Mod pickups, which sound amazing. And then he's, he's also had a hand in the new Player series, the, mm. the Mexican yeah, range. That's that, yeah. He's but everywhere. He's everywhere. So, so this guy is now sort of responsible for making pickup king. great pickups for, for Gibson, for Fender, and now for Gretsch as well. So they're super cool. And they're great, really modern sounding. They've kind of dealt with that that sort of, um, that real scoop that Gretsch's have. It's a much more even, uh, kind of, uh, yeah, just versatile sounding, way, act, reacts way better with effects mm -hmm. than I think you expect a, a, a Gretsch to. Uh, and just to finish the specs off, we have a mahogany neck, an ebony fretboard, and a 12 inch radius on both of these. Yeah. So yeah, let's plug them in and have a play. <laughs>
So that was the new line of jets from Gretsch, the G6128 and the G6228. But which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we shall see you very soon.